Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I've been hesitant to kind of address um, this situation here because it's um, one of those ones that probably will spark a whole lot of discussion that won't necessarily be good. But Sunday... We saw Travis Kelsey, who is, of course, the Swifty darling out there, Taylor Swift's uh, boyfriend and things, literally go after his coach, grab him kind of by the arm and literally in his face, screaming like crazy after the Pacheco um, fumble, you know, screaming that he should be going back in the game. And let me show you, and this is the response from Andy Reid as well as to what happened. Let's listen. <laughs> yeah, he was emotional today. So um, uh, I get, I mean, listen, I have five kids, so I, I, I get how that goes. Um, the part I love is he loves to play the game and he wants to help his team win. I mean, it's not a selfish thing. That's not what it is. And I understand that. And so as much as, um, you know, he bumps into me, I get after him and we understand that. Um, he just caught me off balance. Okay, so. SA, <laughs> tell me this. Do you feel Sorry. like the Chiefs were disrespectful? Sorry about that. Um, I, I carried it too far. So, AJ Brown tweeted out after that Could you imagine if that was me or, you know, somebody else that's a little bit different had done the same thing? How would it have been? Would it have been kind of like, yeah, okay, no big deal. Because for the most part, you know, people have talked about it a little bit and things like that. But we basically heard, you know, well, it's the heat of the moment. You know, just like Andy Reid, this is the heat of the moment. He's passionate. You know, he's passionate. But I don't know if you guys remember the Cowboys versus Detroit Lions in 2013. And what's interesting about that game is where Des Bryant was seen on the sidelines and he's going off and the take that was taken from that. Um, there were articles out there that were like Des Bryant, you know, he's garbage. He's, you know, he, he's vital. He should be banned from football suspended. And let me read a little bit. Des Bryant, the most absurd tantrum since his from earlier. The Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Des Bryant lost control on the sidelines of a, during a 31-20 loss Sunday to the Detroit Lions. Um, after yelling at Tony Romo, Derek Dooley, and then Jason Wood, and finally being calmed by DeMarcus Ware. The Cowboys receiver scored two touchdowns on Sunday and still damaged his brand. That's difficult to do because... Uh, but that's the mo not the most unremarkable part of this performance against the Detroit Lions. This is, his reputation had nowhere to go but up, but will go down after this. You saw what he did during the Cowboys' 31-30 loss to Detroit, and if you don't watch it on television or didn't see the replay or one of the gifts online, you somehow you will see the most didn't see the most absurd, most rebuked tantrum in the NFL sidelines in a long time. See it below. Watch Des Bryant, what he did, and his teammates had to do to stop him. So that's one of the things. And this was it actually as it went on during the game. Let me show you. Hopefully I won't be demonetized. Class of Calvin Johnson right now. Des Bryant's upset about something. And, and this, is the, this is the point that Des Bryant has to understand. This serves no purpose, okay? If I'm the coach for the Cowboys, you got to get this under control because this temper tantrum, and I don't know what else to call it, serves no purpose. Des Bryant. Yardage, I don't care about it if it's a loss. Right now, you can see Jason Witten and Des Bryant. Des Bryant pulling his spoiled child routine again. And don't forget, we said 1 in 55 for teams that were minus four turnovers since 2011. 2-54 and 54 may be the number here. As the scoring review continues, you'll hear the roar. You'll hear the roar. Okay. Johnson, right now, so, that's what we got. You know, he's throwing a tetra tantrum. You know, he's ruined his reputation. He's ass-ass. <laughs> 
He's trash. Right? But lo and behold, let's actually, there was a tape of what was said. Um, so here's what I'll say, you know, Travis Kelsey wanted to win. Travis Kelsey wanted to win. He should not have been bumping into his coach and in his coach's face and everything else. That one looked like he was really kind of, mm. but when you hear the audio of what Des Bryant did, Des Bryant wanted to win too. And he's like, listen, we the best in the league, Tony, we got this shit, you know, and they're actually fiery because they're actually passionate and I, I'll be honest with you I would love to see some passion like that on the sidelines as opposed to when C.D. Lamb just kind of shuts down when he just shuts down and, and is like oh well it's just not our day um, but honestly the aftermath of this situation with Des Bryant in the same way that they constantly kept looking at Des Bryant to make him the bad guy. You know, Des Bryant, of course, the police were called to his house, you know, for a different occasions. You know, one time a kid was locked in the car and they needed help getting him out. And another time it was not even Des Bryant's house and things. It, was, it made it sound like the SWAT team was, you know, Miami Vice was descending upon his house, you know, because it was just, you know what I'm saying. And so, yes, there is a different standard, A, when it comes to Dallas Cowboy players and people that do look a little bit different. And I want people, I don't do this to try and stir shit up. I do it and I bring it up to try and open your eyes to people to understand there is a difference. You get treated differently in the world. Don't. Don't shoot the messenger. Deal with the message. All right, good people. I hope you're having a great day, and um, I will see you soon. Peace.